Okay, one of the things we're going to do is once we get a part done, we're going to go back and open a drawing up, or once you've you've brought it from your old drawing into your new drawing, so you should have copied it into the new drawing before you do this. If you didn't do that, you should go back and watch that other video on how to move forward. Now, you wouldn't normally do that in industry or anything like that, but for the purpose of what we're doing in this classroom, it gives you practice to be able to copy from one drawing to another, recreate, um, and just so you know how to do it. All right, and when you lay these things in here, you want to make sure that this says front, this is left, and this is top. Because when you look at this, this is the view that you want to be your front view. This view will be the one you want to be the top view. And remember, these will be hidden lines. And your right side view will be that view right there. All right, and that's what we want. We want the small one on the right because the length of the part is parallel to the length of the page. And that's so we're looking at the long for the, for our front view and top view. Those are the long sides, and we want them positioned in that in that way. So this is what we're looking at. So then, when we go down to layout, we'll click layout, and we're going to get rid of that right there. We'll go to view, and whoops, no, we'll go to layout over here, and we're going to click base, and from model space, and we'll put in what is the front view, and right click and enter. And this will be our right side view, our top view, and an isometric view up there. Right click and enter and it creates those views. Click on this view right here, the isometric view. And we're just going to make it like half scale. So kind of get it, put it in there. And that's just a courtesy to any machinist that's making the part. So now we're ready to start dimensioning things. Now, you shouldn't have to remember what the dimensions are. You should just kind of know what they are anyway or know what to dimension. So if you don't remember it, that's okay. Um, you should go back and change it later on when we check things. So we'll go to annotate and we're going to dimension. And we're going to remember it. We're going to dimension from the overall length of this part. We're going to dimension the overall width of this part. Right? And we'll dimension the overall height of this part. So that's the length, the width, and the height of the part. All right. Then we've got to start worrying about these features in here. So we'll click on dimension and we're going to go from this endpoint here. Oops. We'll dimension from this endpoint right here to that endpoint right there. Kind of put this in place right about here. We'll dimension then from here down to here so we know how far down we have to go to get to that thickness right there. And we'll dimension from that endpoint to this endpoint and kind of put this in place here. Now, we want these to be lined up, so I'll place it there. I'm going to hit escape real quick. Click on this. I'm going to grab that grip and move it to that endpoint right there. And so now those are lined up the way we need them to be. Um, this is probably sufficient to be able to make this entire part uh, because there's it's symmetrical on both sides. Uh, we know how deep it is. We know the width of that part and kind of, you know, uh, we know what the size of that groove is and how to get to it. So that's all we would need. Those are the dimensions you should have. So you should be ready to go. So this is where you would go up to uh, save. Um, or save as and uh, say overwrite what you've already already done so you want to overwrite the old 206-6-38 and then go to print and create your file your PDF file just like you did before so we're going to go drawing to PDF layout the extents center of the plot click preview and that's this is what it should look like so you should have hidden lines here thick solid lines there right click and plot and that's what you would submit when you were submitting it in Blackboard. That's exactly what you would submit. All right. So mine's going to have to overwrite what's already there, I think. And then, oh, it added model to it. So, or it added layout to it. So that's okay. So we've got both those there. And so this is what you'd submit when you submit your test in Blackboard. All right. Good luck.